Hey everyone, and welcome to In Stars in Time, my personal favorite game of 2023, and while I only beat it for the first time about a week and a half ago, I have not been able to stop thinking about this game. It has consumed nearly every waking thought I have had, as my friends are no doubt aware as I will not stop talking about it. There is a really good chance that this will go down as one of my favorite games of all time. If you know me, if you know me well enough, you know that my favorite games are those that have a strong narrative, in particular, a strong emotional impact. The games that have really something important and powerful to say. Something about humanity and what it means to be alive. I love these types of games. I love the games that make you introspective, that make you think about your own life and what you can do better, what you could be doing worse. This game hits every note I want in a video game, and it is so good. This is an indie game developed by Insert Disc 5, and I strongly urge you to support the developer, as always with indie developers and with games in general. If you, while watching this Let's Play, enjoy what you see of the game and feel like you want to play the game yourself, I urge you to stop watching, buy the game, and play it yourself. If you don't want to play it yourself, but you do watch the whole series, and you do like what you see of the game, I still encourage you to buy a copy, support the developer. You can get copies on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, and on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. I can't say enough good about this game, but it would be best if we just get right into it. But one last important note before we begin. The game did open on content warnings. I urge you to take those content warnings very seriously. This is a game about mental health, and it deals with very heavy themes. But I think it does so in a very, very powerful way. I think it does so in a very reflective way and a very honest way. Take the content warnings seriously. Pace yourself. Take a break if you need it. It'll be a bit before you really get into the thick of it. But, without further ado, let us begin in Stars and Time. Sifrin! Sifrin! Sifrin? Good morning! Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow, so we can finally face against the king. You're too sleepy to talk. Sleep's sweet embrace calls for you. You close your eyes again. You're still half asleep, aren't you? You make a grumbling sound. Hmm. Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? You yawn so hard your jaw cracks. You are having such a nice rest, too. Uh, you can't spend the rest of the day sleeping. That would be a waste. You force yourself to get up. Wake up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. You can use the left stick to move around. I am playing on GamePad, as I am playing on the Nintendo Switch. You can also use the D-Pad on GamePad in order to move around. We have a country to save. Hello, little bird friend. The bird chirps. Oh, in Vogard they say birds go pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. Oh, 
Sifrin makes a noise in response. I love that. Sifrin, you're up. You sure are. Hey, Mira. Hey, Sifrin. Heh. <laughs> so, how was your nap? On a scale of 1 to 10. Let's see. I mean, it was a decent nap. A 5, completely average. Is that a good or a bad thing? Average is... average, I guess? Hmm. If you say average more, it'll stop being a word, I think. Average, 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 average. No, Sifrin, don't in Do not invoke the semantic satiation, you monster. No! Oh, wait! I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I had an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I felt like we could make it special somehow. So I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room. Maybe tell stories. It would be nice, wouldn't it? How's it different from what you usually do? Well, okay? Ah, uh, you think it's silly, don't you? I'm sorry. I was trying to find something fun to do tonight, but that's all I could think of. It was... It was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Maybe we should forget about it. Oh no. Your lack of enthusiasm made Mirabelle upset! Come on, fix it! N no, I think it's fun, let's do it! Are you sure? Alright then. Um, so if we're doing it, can you let everyone know? I... I don't think I could convince everyone. Well, you kinda have to now. Of course, Mira. Okay, let me think. Madame Odile should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields to the east. And Isabeau is at the favorite tree to the west. We're staying in the clock tower at the east of town, right past the broken bridge, so you can just tell everyone to meet up there later. That was a lot of names and places. You remember? Um, I, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I always remember things. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location. Just in case you forget. Yeah, smart. Also, oof, she does not believe us. You got the reminder note. You put the note in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You can check your souvenirs by going into your pockets. To access your pockets, open the menu by pressing X. The menu contains your pockets, your equipment, and many other things. You can interact with most items in your pockets by pressing A. Okay, see you at the clock tower later then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the Change God statue, too. For good luck! You wave goodbye. Alright, we got the reminder note about things to do. Oh, also, also! There's a lot of people to talk to and drawers to snoop inside of around here. You can interact with people and objects by pressing A when standing in front of them. Good to know! But yes, we've got a lot of things to do, so let's get started. First off, let's check our pockets so we can take a look at that reminder note. Not that we need it, we were just told. But sure, a note Mirabelle wrote for you and your sieve-like brain. Oh. Sifrin, is your memory that bad? <laughs> oh no. You look at the note. Sifrin, don't forget to get everyone. Odile is probably in the shop getting supplies. The shop is that building with a bunch of barrels around it. I saw Bonnie go to the east. They're probably near the veggie fields. Just go east and then south. And Isabeau must be at the favor tree to the west. Give, the, give him some time, though. I think he has a lot to ask for. Before you go talk to him, you could walk around Dormont. I'm sure people would be happy to talk. There's a little girl with pigtails slightly north. I think she really likes to talk about battles. Don't be afraid to talk to anyone in the village. And, well, also, you should see the Change God statue and pray for victory. If you want. You really should. Let's meet at the clock tower to the east after. Just jump over the broken bridge and you'll find it. Yours... Mirabelle. On the bottom of the paper, a crafted drawing animates back and forth. It's some kind of thick, flowy line. What is it? You should ask her. I suppose we will. Alright, let's get exploring. There are quite a few people to talk to. I'm not going to talk to everyone in the village. I'm just going to talk to a good selection of them. But first, uh, yeah, let's talk to you first, actually. Oof, look at you. So scrawny. Scrawny one, did you know you can press Y to run? You should give it a try sometime. Oh, and did you know you can turn on Always Run in your Options menu? So you can run all the time. Did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know pressing Y makes you run? Did you know you can run all the time by going into the Options menu? 
I'm gonna be honest. I've been watching a uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena for the first time recently, and I'm not that far. Right. I think I'm like halfway through. But every time I talk to the running one, this reminds me of the shadow puppets in Utena. And if you've seen the show, you probably know why I'm saying that. It's just a coincidence in how they talk, but that's just the voice that pops into my head is the shadow puppets. Do you run? Do you like running? More of a lazy, take it easy type. Disgusting. I, I mean, understandable. You look like you've never ran a day in your life. So you need to build up those muscles. Get fast, get swole, and press Y to run. Rude. You may look scrawny, but you're definitely the fastest one out of your group. Huh. Very rude indeed. But yeah, as mentioned, in the options menu, we can turn on Always Run, which I have turned on. And there's a bunch of other options as well. We can divide them up into category or go through all at once. Let's go by category. Always Run, I like to have turned on. Command Remember, I like to have turned off. Message Speed is at max. For audio, everything's at a nice even 50%. I could turn those up to 100%, but it's fine. That's the default, I'll leave it there. And we can also get some visual effects. Screen effects, we can turn on or off if you have issues with screen shakes and flashes. Text shake, I personally recommend having this on, though it can make text a little bit more difficult to read. Uh, it does have some nice effects. BG scroll, the scrolling background during battles and on the map, we can turn it on and off. And finally, battle help. Turn on to add a rock, paper, scissors, cheat sheet during battles. We'll be getting into that soon enough. But if you need a little bit of extra help in the battles to help you remember how things work, battle help, you can turn on to do that. All right then, next up, Mirabelle mentioned checking in with a change god statue. This is a change god statue. The god of the change faith, which is worshiped in Dormont. Statues, big and small, all with different faces. Some of them have sad eyes, others a bright smile. A few are animated by craft, and one jumps around and bumps gently into your foot. The change god, deity worshipped by all the country of Vogard, stands before you. You have trouble believing you're finally here, almost at the end of your journey. It was only a few months ago that you met Mirabelle. So much has happened since then. It was almost a year ago now that the king appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Possessing immense craft power, he spread his curse across the country of Vogard, freezing in time everything in its path. With Dormont's house of change in his control, he patiently waits. For he knows his curse can only be reversed if he is defeated. His victory would be all but determined if not for Mirabelle. Your friend Mirabelle is the only survivor of the House of Dormont, and after the king froze everyone inside in time and locked the gates. Everyone says she was blessed by the change god themselves with the power to fight back the king's curse, making her the only one able to save Vogard. When you met her, she was already traveling with Isabo and Odil, trying to get the orbs necessary to open the house's gates and defeat the king. You would help them defeat a particularly strong sadness, and seeing your strength, they asked for your help. You had nothing better to do, so you decided to accompany them. A few weeks later, you met Bonnie, completing your little team. You saw a lot of Vagardian cities during your travels, some frozen, some not, and did your best to sidestep the slowly encroaching curse. But still, you all kept going. Mirabelle kept going to honor the change god's blessing, save her beloved house, and save Vogard. Isabeau came with her after Vogard's defenders themselves refused to help. Odile came to satisfy her curiosity about Vogard. And because, she said, leaving the fate of a country to a bunch of young ones would give me an ulcer. Bonnie came to save their sister, frozen by the curse. You're here because there's nothing else for you to do. What else are you supposed to do except travel with them? Once, Mirabelle asked if you were okay, following them on a journey to save the country. She felt guilty, like, felt like she was forcing everyone to follow her on a hopeless quest. You wanted to put her at ease, so you said easily and truthfully that traveling with everyone was the happiest you could remember being. She looked upset. You cringe just thinking about it, truth be told. 
Maybe not the most considerate thing you could have said to someone with her problems at that moment. But tomorrow, one way or another, your journey will end. You should believe something very strongly at the Change God. That's how those work, right? Mirabelle and Isabeau taught you before. Can't just ask for things because the Change Belief considers us lazy. It's a Change God, only pure belief and confidence in yourself will do. With the Change God only providing a little nudge. If anyone is lazy here, it must be the Change God, you think. Oh well. You believe strongly, or whatever. That your hits will hurt super hard. Or, rather, as it actually says, that your hits will super hurt. I don't know why my brain rearranged sentences like that, but it does that all the time. You have your choice here, but I am going with that your hits will super hurt. Best defense is a good offense. If you hit hard, no one will hurt you or your friends. You repeat under your breath, super powerful, super powerful, super powerful. <laughs> You actually feel a little more powerful? You do a little flourish with your dagger. You dropped your dagger. Embarrassing. You and your friend's attack got a tiny bit better. Going to the Change God statue will boost one stat of your choice. You can also save your progress by praying at the Change God statue. You close your eyes. And this is how we save. And yes, when we visit the Change God statue, we can get one small but not insignificant Boost to your whole party stats. Let's go ahead and save. And let's keep moving. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's enough for today. You thank the change god for its blessing and quickly run away. Crossing it out from the reminder note. Alright, who do we want to talk to next? I noticed down here that there is someone fishing. That sounds like a relaxing way to pass the time. And Sifrin, you seem tired. Maybe a little bit of relaxation would do you good, what with us going to fight the king tomorrow. Hee hee hee. I am fishing. You look like someone who would like fishing. Would you like to fish for a little bit? Why not? Let's do it, yes. Hee hee hee. Fishing, huh? You don't really know how to do this. You take the fishing pole they're offering you. Choose a lure the same shade as the water. Check the fishing pole. Throw it in the water. And sit down and wait. Yeah, this feels right. Fishing time. You didn't catch anything. That's too bad. Hee hee hee. Unfortunate, but that's just how it goes sometimes when you're fishing. Alright, let's see. Next up, Mirabelle's over there. But first, we were also told to go talk to this kid, I believe. Hello there. Hey, you, the strange adult with a hat. My name is Tutorial Kid. Tutorial Kid has the name Agave sewn into her clothes. My mom says you're very strong and you're going to help save us all. But I need to challenge you to know your strength. So let's play rock, paper, scissors. Uh, why fight? Because it is our fate to fight. Makes sense. Why rock, paper, scissors? Uh, because it's the basis of everything? The basis of creation? Of craft? Ah, it seems like I really must teach you everything. Alright, well, teach me then. I accept your challenge, Tutorial Kid Agif. Yeah! Excited, little kid. Alright, let's begin. We can choose rock, paper, or scissors. And this is the basis of combat in this game. We, we need to beat our opponent in a rock, paper, scissors contest. So what will you pick, Agith? What will you pick, Tutorial Kid? I am gonna go with scissors. The Tutorial Kid threw paper. Mm, I threw paper. How could I lose to someone like you? Okay, let's do it again. Rock, paper, now, are you going to go with the same? Are you going to hold steady? Or are you going to try and beat me and my scissors with a rock? Let's go paper. Called it! The tutorial kid threw rock. No! I threw rock! I've lost this round, but... It's not over yet! 
Okay, last round. Rock? Paper? Well, I've already won two out of three, so let's just go with good old scissors. The tutorial kid threw scissors. This can't be! A draw on the last round! According to the laws of this village, you have won the rock, paper, scissors game. This was an intense battle. Thank you for fighting with me. We got one sweet tonic. We put it in our pockets. Now you know the basics of rock, paper, scissors, so you're invincible. Our training has come to an end. Farewell. Thank you, RPS kid. Thank you, tutorial kid. We'll get more into the rock, paper, scissors and the combat as we proceed into fighting the king. But that is going to be the basics of combat in this game, so look forward to it. Well, all that rock, paper, scissors has made me hungry. What do you say we go get some food? The sign says, Dormans Mignon Boulangerie. Boulanger I cannot speak French. I'm so sorry. I do not know French. I'm going to try my best, but a lot of this game is French. Uh, I'm going to do my best, but I'm so sorry in advance for if it's bad. Well then, let's go check it out. Hello there. Hey, want to buy something? You'd like to, but can't buy much with only a silver coin. You show your silver coin anyway. With one of those, you can get a third of a pastry. But aren't you one of the saviors? Traveling with little Mirabelle. Don't worry about a thing then. Can I get you anything on the house? A croissant, maybe. Incredible, incredible. I've never seen anyone give such a look of disdain when offered a croissant. A pain out chocolate, then. Only monsters don't like pain out chocolate. You like those? You nod. Ha! One pain out chocolate coming up. We got a pain out chocolate! Yay! You think about putting it in your pocket for later, but it smells so wonderful! Still warm, it smells like butter and chocolate. You try to control yourself and take only a small, dainty bite. But it's too yummy! In two bites, you've already swallowed the pastry whole! Not gonna lie. Seeing a tiny one like you eat this like a rabid beast? That was disturbing, but also weirdly satisfying. Good luck tomorrow. Damn, Sifrin. Ate it whole. Um, welcome. I'm helping Papa today. Good for you. Keep it up. I'm sure you're doing great. Some croissants. You refuse to even look at them. Damn, Sifrin, you really hate croissants. What the heck's up with that? Some baguettes. Smells heavenly. And a little figure of the change god. It's been crafted to dance lately. This one has clumsily drawn eyes and a drawn baguette for a mouth. I made it. I made it myself. Very good for you. Good job. Okay, we got some croissants. Well, no, we didn't get croissants. We glared at the croissants and ate a pain out chocolate. So next up, I think... Next up is talking to our party members to make sure we are all ready for the sleepover. First off, hi Mirabelle! Mirabelle is here sitting on a bench and looking at papers. Hi Sifrin, do you need anything? Questions. Well, we don't need to know where everyone is again, you already told us. So, how are you feeling? How I'm feeling? Oh, being in Dormont you mean. It's nostalgic. This is where I lived before after all. I mean, when I wasn't studying or working at the house. Dormont itself hasn't changed much, but the house... We can see it from the village, you know. How distorted it has become. I was the only one who managed to escape the house when the king attacked. So many people must be hurt. Or... Maybe they're all... Mira... We'll save them all tomorrow, don't worry. Yes, you're right. I should stay positive. Sorry. Any other questions? What will you do after we're done? After? Want to jinx us to talk about this? Well, I need to make sure everyone in the house is okay. Beating the king should make their time flow again and they won't be frozen anymore. And I need to talk to the head housemaid and apologize for taking so long. She was the one who was supposed to beat the king. She would have done a better job than I did if only the king didn't freeze her in time. But after I apologize, I was thinking of traveling again. You know, you know, as a housemaiden of the House of Change, I'm supposed to keep striving for change. Even more than a, nor a normal believer. And part of it means I have to go on a pilgrimage, which I haven't done yet. Um, 
Didn't this whole journey count as a pilgrimage? When we went all over the country. No? I mean, I don't think so. The pilgrimage is all about learning new things. And seeing new places. And changing yourself and other people you meet. I mean, sounds like a hero's journey like what we just did. This journey could have been that, but... I haven't changed at all. I'm still the same old Mirabelle. You feel like she's changed a lot since you've met her, but who are you to judge? What about you, Sifrin? What will you do? What will you do? Um, I guess go on a pilgrimage too, maybe? Oh? That's great! But I thought... Oh, change! Are you thinking of converting to the House of Change? The house would be delighted! I have some pamphlets! Pass. Nah, I'm fine saying the same person forever. You're fine with it? Oh, okay. Questions. Any other questions we've got? Oh yeah, what's the thing you drew on my reminder note? She drew a thick, flowing line on the reminder note. What's that about? What I drew on the note? It's a flowing ribbon, silly. Like the one in my hair, see? Oh! Questions? Any others? Looks like we are all good. Don't need to know where everyone is again? Okay, I'll see you later. Alright. Well, we found Mirabelle at least, but we still have to find the other three. Odile, Bonnie, and Isabeau. But, now that we have been introduced to the world, the country of Vogard, and the city of Dor town of Dormant, I think this is a good place to take a break. Next time on In Stars in Time, we're going to go meet up with the rest of our party and get ready to go fight the king tomorrow. I will see everyone next time for that.